Hi everybody. Okay, so I intended to do this for a while. This uh, box wing, joined wing, uh, airplane with a forward swept four wing and a rear swept, I mean, a fo I'm sorry, a forward swept rear wing and a rear swept forward wing. And um, I wanted the engine in the middle, so I had to make this uh, cage made out of a uh, uh, wooden 3 8 three eighths inch diameter poles and I had to connect them very very strongly and all that um, and I had to make this engine pylon and support it with a metal wire underneath there and uh, as you can see from the flight video this thing flies and it flies fairly nicely I've actually looped it and rolled it and um, it's definitely the most complex build I've done. So at first, uh, I flew it without uh, these additional uh, vertical stabilizers that I attach on with Velcro. And then I just, it was uh, kind of like borderline, the yaw stability. It was okay, but it was not as good as I would have liked so I added these on and you know they're good because I can take them off so I can get the thing into the car because with them on I cannot get them into the car uh, and it's also good to have it velcroable so that I can make uh, them a varying size if I, I think I made them these additions uh, that I stick on bigger than they need to be so and, you know, I can chop them down a little bit and make them a little nicer. Um, this one was not, at first, uh, an immediate uh, success. First of all, the first time I flew it, I did not have this supporting wire underneath the uh, engine bay. And when I landed it, the impact cracked this area right here. And uh, even though it was not a very hard landing, so it became clear that I needed something to support it over here. Uh, that added a little weight, not terrible, but uh, that part is not the main weight. This airplane itself is, I think, almost 50 ounces because um, it's got uh, lots of wing area, of course, uh, and uh, it's 8.2 square feet of wing area, I believe. So the wing loading is something around six, six ounces per square foot, which is actually very good. There's no way, there's no way I could hand launch this is, uh, if uh, the wing loading was any higher than that, I think. Um, and I hand launch it by holding it from behind over here and, over, and the same thing on the other side. And then I, uh, you know, give it power and I throw it. And it launches just fine and my hands are quite far away from the prop when I'm holding it right here from behind uh, so there's no problem with that um, it needed a lot of bracing this thing uh, you know obviously there's a lot of structure the wooden cage here is a tetrahedron uh, or I can think of it as a pyramid uh, so triangular vertices uh, is always a lot better than square it gives it a lot stronger structure that's why you see a lot of triangular structures and all kinds of trusses on bridges and things like that. Anyway, um, the other thing that, uh, so the front uh, wing, the fore wing, like I said, is rear swept and it's got the elevators. So both of those elevators go up and down and the rear wing has the uh, ailerons. So I did not do elevons in this thing. I did separate elevators and separate ailerons. Um, and, I had to brace this thing. Let me just put down the camera for a second. Oopa. I hit the chandelier there, so that wasn't such a smart thing to do. Anyway, here we go. So, I had to brace the wing with uh, carbon fiber spars, the rear wing as you can see, and you can see how I'm joining the truss structure to the rear wing over here and you see the servos for the 
ailerons and over here these servos for the elevators are acting in concert to bring both surfaces up and down as necessary in concert with each other um, and again I have carbon fiber spars for the front wing and I have I don't, as you, I don't know if you can see this but this is actually a metal a very quite a thick metal wire that's joining the truss structure over here I, I used uh, zip ties to join to the truss, truss structure underneath at first I was mounting the battery right here in this area right here that wasn't forward enough uh, the first time I flew this thing I flew it at tail heavy and it was very hard to control uh, and then uh, in order to make things better I um, put this strip of velcro right here and I have no choice but to mount the battery at uh, a slant uh, relative to the airflow as opposed to straight up and down as it was when it was behind this uh, uh, engine pylon you know on the on the back side of it uh, but uh, you know having weight and, uh, proper CG is obviously much more important than a bit more drag um, the motor on this guy is just enough to enable hand launching. Uh, if this thing was just an ounce or two heavier, there's no way that this, this uh, motor could do it. This, this motor generates about 40 ounces of thrust and this thing is about 49 um, ounces, this airplane. The wings are made out of a uh, very simple uh, styrofoam uh, that I bought uh, from a local uh, um, home building supply you know they have styrofoam boards for insulation and uh, I put a, a paper leading edge and a paper tra trailing edge covered in tape simply to get uh, because my um... okay just to uh, finish up here with uh, the construction of this thing how it was done so uh, I use some uh, cheap styrofoam medium sized bead uh, from a local uh, construction supply store, from, uh, insulation you know, insulation board for construction, and uh, I used a hot wire to cut it. I'm not the, a very good hot wire, and I always screw up the leading edge and the trailing edge. So I cover the leading and the trailing edge with paper, and as you can see, as a result of that, the uh, leading edge is quite smooth. Same for the four wing. Um, and uh, it was quite a challenge to get this thing put together and strong enough, rigid enough uh, to be usable in flight. Um, and uh, these uh, 3 8 inch dowels are quite heavy, um, but they, they're really made out of hard wood, so it's, uh, it's, you know, it's necessary to keep this thing rigid. And um, I didn't have, you know, I already used a, four or five uh, carbon fiber spars for the wings themselves so I just didn't have any more so I had no choice to go but to go with these 3 8 inch dowels um, the CG on this guy is, is very very important I had it a little off the first flight I don't know maybe an inch or whatever it was and it was very very difficult to control I had to put a lot of down elevator and I was uh, stalling and, and uh, going into spins fairly easily um, but I managed to land it and I readjusted CG uh, and uh, after fixing the uh, engine pylon that broke um, because I wasn't supported properly in the rear um, and now it flies very nicely very smoothly it even loops and rolls as I said and it's uh, just a very interesting design of the challenges that are involved uh, you know you have these long uh, vertical stabilizers here and um, it was interesting to note that even though based upon the calculations that I made, these vertical stabilizers should have given it a fairly nice yaw stability. Uh, it was a, not quite as good as I would like and I had to add on those things that I velcro on to, on the tips over here. Those ones that I showed you before. Uh, it could be because I didn't really properly calculate how much side area all these poles and engine pylon up front do, which are forward of the CG, basically. The CG is basically uh, right around here somewhere. Right around here. So most of the structure that joins the two wings is forward of the CG, and I guess I must have miscalculated it. Anyway, 
you can see the flight video, uh, the initial one, which has just the takeoff and landing and a short segment of it um, passing pretty far away, so it's hard to see it, but the takeoff and landing are visible. And um, I hope to get my neighbor to film uh, a better video of this thing flying. Um, and uh, my hot wiring skills, even though I still always screw up the seat, the leading edge and the trailing edge, uh, are getting better. And I use these light styrofoams and then I cover them in tape and it use uh, carbon fiber spars and it seems to be working out quite well in terms of the, the wings themselves are quite rigid and quite good. Okay, thanks.